Today in the video, I'm going to show you how to fill in the missing parts of your image using the clone stamp tool inside of Adobe Photoshop. Without no more further ado, let's jump in and get started. In the tutorial today, we're going to use Adobe Photoshop and the Clone Stamp tool to fill in the missing part of our image. You can use this for any use case, but in the use case today, we're going to fill in the missing part of the donut bite over here. Now, as usual, inside of the description of the video, I'm going to link to this exact image so you can practice step by step and achieve this by yourself because Practice makes perfect. Now, the first thing that we need to do is move into the clone stamp tool, which is over here. You can access that quickly by clicking the S on the keyboard. And the next thing that we need to do is actually get a source from our image. To do that, I'm gonna click on Option or Alt on the keyboard and click on the source. And now I can use the clone brush to start painting whatever I've got a sample from. So that's how this tool works basically. Let's jump inside of the settings a little bit more. So this brush works like any brush. You can change the brush settings from here, make the brush size bigger, the hardness, or choose the brush type. Another quick way to access the brush size is by clicking on the square brackets on your keyboard. So you can just make that bigger or smaller using the brackets. I prefer to use keyboard shortcuts because now I can see on side of my image if the brush size is the correct size. So this is a good size over here and I'm gonna get my sample, so option and click. And then we're going to start fill in, filling in the missing part. Now, as you can see, this isn't filling it so nicely. So what we need to do is actually give our source a little bit of an angle. To access the angle, we're going to open Window, Clone Source, and over here you can see there's an angle setting. There's all sorts of settings that are related to the clone source, but the one that we're going to talk about is the uh, angle over here. Now, if I give this a manual uh, value, then you can see that it's changed it a little bit, but this isn't fitting in perfectly yet. I mean, the angle has changed, but it's not fitting in perfectly. And so what we need to do is stand over here in the setting, in the angle setting, move to our image, stand in the exact spot, and now I'm gonna use the keyboard to change the value. Now, if I use the down or up keys, you can see that the value is changing uh, sort of slowly. To make that a little bit faster, I'm going to click on Shift on the keyboard, and then I'm going to change this value. And as I hold on the keyboard, you can see that this is moving a little bit faster. I'm going to try to make the angle as precise as possible. Let's go for 77. And now I can start painting in the missing parts of the donut. And now I'm going to fill this in perfectly. Voila, you're done. So if you found this tutorial helpful, please subscribe to the YouTube channel and follow for more Photoshop tutorials. I'm going to see you in the next video.